guy's got a big region up here, Dallas, Fort Worth. If y'all don't know, they had quite a few of their brothers down in this too. They've been fighting hard up there. They've been raising a lot of money. They've been kicking ass. They got their hands full just like we do. Thank you, Jimmy. I'm a pretty passionate guy too. And I sit there and listen to Jimmy and all I can think about is we the people. Yeah. We the people have the right to peacefully assemble anywhere in this country, do we not? Yeah. Say it, we the people. We the people. Right on. And I've had the privilege to be a COC chairman now for around a year, I think. And I've held meetings every other month. And I've seen it. I've seen I've moved mine around to different clubhouses and different clubs. They've been very appreciative. The people love that. I mean, I got so much in me to tell you, you know, but we do that and, and we do it for a reason because I believe in peace in the valley and I'm trying to spread that word. Incom, he mentioned that. I saw it up there in that room. Lots of clubs from all across the country. I think the message was clean your club up. You got pilgrims in that club? Get them out. You don't need law enforcement barking down your neck at this time. Another thing, uh, I went out. You know, we've collected money up there for those families. And they're all non-association. I went out of uniform, that's for sure, and helped deliver some of that money. I've been in some of those homes. I've seen those children. And like Jimmy said, half my money in my pocket right now, I've got a bucket right here. And I tell you, when I looked in a refrigerator and I saw nothing but an onion, and seven kids in that house in cases of water that were stacked up, that's all they could afford. There was no milk in that room or in that refrigerator. But hey, the money we gave them helped them get past that. We helped them find jobs. We've been doing that. We've been giving references. And like Jimmy said, half the money in your pocket, I want to challenge everybody in this room. I'm going to put up $200. I think I got three fifty or so, but I'm going to put up 200 of my personal money in this bucket right here in front of me. Bill, somebody help me here. And I challenge every chapter in here to at least match $100 of that. Give something. Come up here now. Come to this table and help these victims. I'll give you recognition right here. You come here, let me see that back patch, and we'll say it. Don't be afraid, because this is going to go to Region 1 victims down here. A lot of people have been hurt. A lot of people have been touched. What's your name, brother? Turn around. Let me see that. That's $100. Put it right there. Scrapping? Thank you, sir. Calaveras. Open arrows. $100? Come on up. Here's another hundred right here. I don't want to sound like a Baptist preacher, but I got a little in me. I'll be here all night if I have to. Come on, turn around. Calaveras, love you. Hey, Bates, good to see you. Risen dead, know those guys. Granados, thank you. Thank you. Honor bound. Hey, they're big up there at DFW. So is in country. Seen those guys that have been Harker Heights. I want to thank those in country veterans. Come on up here, in country. I want to talk to you. Oh. My, my thing briefly, I want to say, in country, some of their brothers was in there. I know that. And one of our brothers, one of my future brothers, helped them guys out. They didn't have hamburgers. They got four hamburgers in that room that day. I was told that story. They wanted to know who did that. This guy came to me at Harker Heights and asked me, describe the guy, he's a nomad, all right? And he helped, he gave his food up. He told the Red and Gold Brothers, he told the Red and Gold Brothers, feed these guys right here. So they gave their food up to them. So I do thank you for that, sir. Appreciate you guys. standing in the back parking lot by the dumpsters doing nothing wrong but got shot. Listen to him. Well, we rolled up there, wasn't expecting any trouble. Kind of got back in there a little ways, heard that first shot, turned around and tried to get out of the way. 
caught one in the side, went around behind the place. There was a booze fighter back there, booze fighter Yoda. Took care of me. Took care of a whole lot of people up there too. Hell yeah. 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 That's where we're going with this story. Yoda, where you at? Come here.
So we get we turn it into gift cards, and we go around to whatever families contact us, and we give them those gift cards for whatever they need to use it for. But they got to fill out a paper because we want to keep ourselves accountable, who they are, what we gave them, so we can give it back to that church, so that church knows that we're doing the right thing with the money. So we're keeping the whole thing accountable. You know, and I'm saying about, uh, you know, we're, we're watching every dime, or we're watching every penny. I mean, we're making sure that every penny goes to where it's supposed to go to. And, and we, uh, you know, the things that really got to me was, you know, just disabled guys uh, contacted us. He's got a monitor on. He's got to pay a bondsman 500. He's got 350 on that monitor, you know, and he's getting 1,200 and some odd dollars a month. So you do the math. You know, what's he left with? You know, nothing. So we're helping feed guys like that, you know, and if we have to, we'll do it more than once, and we'll keep this going as long as we need to. And uh, it, it's been working, and we appreciate the, the motorcycle community. Uh, I'm, I just, I, like, I'm kind of like Jimmy. I, the Lord tells me, you know, that I got to love everybody. But, you know, there's, there's some I just like, you know. <laughs> you know but I, I do that. But we got these uh, deals on the back table back here. Uh, some of them were donated to us. But they're, remember, Waco patches. One of them has nine crosses on it. The other just has a motorcycle. It says, uh, remember Waco, it's got the date, it says United We Stand, and we got some decals also, and all the money's going to go right back into that same pot. Uh, people have donated stuff to us to go ahead and sell to raise money, and so that's been a blessing for us to be able to do that. And uh, I could go on and on, but here's our newsletter, and it's back there on the table. It'll tell you everything we've done to date. Uh, day by day, and before I leave, I'm going to tell you one story. I met a couple at a Denny's in Waco, and uh, don't give no names, but they got four kids, and uh, they come in there, and, you know, and bikers got a lot of pride, you know, and people don't want to have to ask for anything, but you know, they were, they were on bottom, that was it. And so I, I gave them the, some cards, some gas cards, and some food cards. And that little girl there, uh, this was the turning point for me. Uh, she, you know, they, she was calling Mr. Louie through the whole deal. She said, thank you, Mr. Louie. We're going to go to Walmart after this, and we're going to get some food. And you know, and after that, for me, that, that was the whole mission right there. That was it for me. I've just been going and not even asking why. Thanks for your time.